What's up, everyone? Thralls of Metal here once again. I'm Necrotic Nick, and I got an album review for you. Now, we are back with Streaming Toilet. We officially signed up for a whole bunch of stuff, so we got a whole bunch of cool underground reviews coming your way. And to start things up, I reviewed Crematory Stench's EP, Grotesque Deformities. This came out on FDA Records, but it was originally released on Head Split Records, only on cassette. So this is a reissue from an album from last year. There's also a version of this that came out on CD on Blood Harvest Records as well. I imagine it's pretty much the same. It's just a four song EP and it is straight up old school death metal. These guys are from Costa Mesa, California and they've only been around since 2014. So this is a pretty fresh new band. Their approach though, however, is very much the vein of 90s old school death metal. So the album starts off with an intro, which I kind of had some issues with concern this is only a four song EP and they threw on a two minute intro, which is cool. It's mood setting. It's very 70s, 80s, horror-ish sounding. While it's nice, you still committed two minutes to a 17 minute EP to this. And it was like, eh, maybe trim it down to just a minute or maybe even under a minute. It still would have had the same effect. And finally, we get into the title track, Grotesque Deformities, and you get an overall sense of this band's sound. Very much in the vein of autopsy and early death. Very sludgy, very groove-oriented. But some of it is kind of lost in the mix. The mix is very, very muddy and very raw in this. Now, I know a lot of people out there really like a good raw death metal album, and this is definitely raw. This actually sounds more like a demo than a polished release, to be honest. But this mix could definitely use some work. The drums really sound kind of oddly mixed. The snare drum kind of sounds like someone slamming a door and the bass drums really don't stand out. It's kind of a lackluster thud, almost like kicking a pillow. Really didn't do much for me. The guitars, pretty solid tone. It just sounds a little thin in the mix. Vocally, it's really interesting because they definitely take more from John Tardy and Chuck Schuldiner as far as their vocal approach. So it's very strained, very throaty, very dry sounding, which was really cool. Overall, that song it was pretty good. It was very straightforward death metal. It really didn't have a lot of dynamics to it. You know, it shifts back and forth between a mid-tempo sort of stomp and then into a D-beat part, but it really didn't stand out too much, and that's technically your opening track, so it kind of had an issue there. The next track, Hypothermic Expiry, actually starts off with a blast, as in a sampled shotgun blast. But it was kind of cool because the song actually explodes after that. It moves into a straightforward blast beat, and it even has a cool, thrashy breakdown that was very reminiscent of early Sepultura for me. Probably from those first two albums that I still really dig. Again, the mix didn't do the song any favors. There's some really cool writing in here, but it's kind of buried in the mud of this mix. I don't think this is indicative of where they are now. They'll probably, you know, now that they're on FDA or Blood Harvest, they'll probably get a better mix on their next album. But there's a lot of ideas I thought they were kind of lost there just because you couldn't hear all of it very clearly. Now the album closes with what I think is the best track on here and it's almost 10 minutes long so it makes up more than half of this EP. Really solid songwriting, lots of cool dynamics in here. This one builds on moments and crescendos into the next moment very well. It's cool transitions. There's a little break in the middle of it with a bit of a winter storm sample which I was initially irritated on, but it only hung out for a little bit, and then it moved into the second part of the song, which had a very different feel altogether, almost more Death Doom. And the songwriting on here was fantastic. They even threw in some lead melodies in the solo, which really weren't prevalent in the other two songs on here. This one was loaded with memorable riffs across the board. I really dug this. I would, I would love to see them retooled this one possibly on a later release because this was a fantastic track and I hope this is the direction they're going in because this showed off some really fantastic writing in this throughout. Love this song and honestly this song really saved the EP for me altogether. So all in all I'm gonna give this one two and a half stars just because the first part was a little lackluster and the mix is pretty rough throughout. Then again, for those who like a rougher sound in terms of their death metal or like a more demo approach, you might really love this. 
But that last song showed off a lot of cool writing and a lot of cool dynamics. I would really like to see them do more of that in the future, and I'd be definitely interested to hear another release from these guys in the future for sure. So, if you like the review, give it a thumbs up, and if you're new to the channel, sub. We do shit like this all the time. Look forward to a lot more reviews coming. Catch you later.